Hi everyone, this is Ella and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick review of the Pilot Parallel Pen, which I purchased last week. I've been using it in the past few days and I've really been enjoying using it, so I really wanted to share it with you. So I actually showed this pen in a previous video that I did. I bought it at a Japanese bookstore in New York that I love to go to browse. It cost about $10. But you can actually find this on Amazon for a lot cheaper. You can find it from somewhere between seven to nine dollars. They have different size nibs. This is a 3.8 millimeter nib, but they actually have other sizes up to six millimeters and smaller. So you can actually get a set of four with all the sizes for like $25 or something. And it would actually turn out to be a lot cheaper than buying um, buy them separately. I just bought one out of impulse and uh, I wanted to try it out. I put it back in the packaging so you can see how it comes. It has a perforated edge. The packaging is super easy to open, which is great. You've seen the accidents I've had in my other videos um, as I am unpacking um, art supplies and I've gotten injured a few times. So uh, I really appreciated that. It brings a little um, booklet or pamphlet with some instructions, some techniques, and um, especially calligraphy techniques and different kind of writing uh, techniques that you can do to show that. Here it, uh, it shows like the different types of nib sizes, so 1.5 millimeter up to six millimeter. And if you use the nib at different angles, you can get different types of lines, which I think is what really attracted me to this. So I'll show you in a bit how that performs on paper. The actual pen comes with two cartridges. It comes with a black and a red, they're water soluble ink. It also comes with a little piece of film, which is meant to be used to unclog the pen um, if it gets clogged. So the pen nib is actually two pieces of, got some ink on my finger there, two pieces of steel and the ink flows right through the middle of the two pieces of steel. I don't know if you can see that. So it's very different than a regular fountain pen. So I'm gonna show you just from my fountain pen collection here. Uh, this is a Lamy LX pen, medium nib. So you can see, let's see if we can focus on this, the difference in the way the nib is designed. Whereas one has, you know, the traditional fountain pen nib and the parallel is very very different it also writes really different which is what really attract attracted me to this um, so this piece of film is meant to be kind of used in between the two blades so if there's paper fibers that get clogged in between those you can use this to kind of get in there and unclog it and i thought that was kind of cool it also brings um a little i don't know pump thing where you can put water in here and kind of flush the pen so if you take out you're changing the color of the cartridge you can take it out you fill this with water you put it in here and you kind of flush the pen with it i thought that was really cool i've never seen any other fountain pens that come with that um little pump and I might try to use it with my other fountain pens. So I think it's a really great deal for, even if I paid a little more for it than I would have on Amazon, it's a good deal at $10, I think. So the pen body is actually kind of really elongated. Looks like a lot of calligraphy pens uh, that I've seen. And the cap, it doesn't have a clip. So it's that's a, you know, harder if you want to carry it around or clip it to something. You also cannot... Um, connect the the cap to the end of the pen so you have to kind of I don't know keep the cap somewhere safe so you don't lose it while you're using it which um, I know is inconvenient for some people but I just wanted to show you quickly how this writes um, you can use it in different directions I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit here so that you can see that if you use it in just like with wise it creates a really thick line if you use it at an, at an angle like a medium line if you use it on the side thinner line and if you use the tip just the edge 
you can get an even thinner line. So you have a lot of line variation uh, and you can like really go wild with this. So I'm planning to use this for sketching and I'm gonna show you actually some sketches that I did with this pen because um, I think it really adds drama to the sketches and it just makes them come alive and makes them really fun and dynamic. It just changes the whole style and look and feel of the sketches. So I'm gonna compare this really quick, quickly with my Lamy medium nib. So you can see how much thinner that is. And if I use it on the side, it can get a tiny thinner line, but it's like, you know, the line variation, it's not nearly as wide as with this one. Of course, this feels different in the hand. It's light, this is super light. It barely weighs anything. Um, this has a bit more weight, so you know if you like that, uh, that's something to consider. But you know these lines, the fact that depending on the pressure, you can get broken lines. So if you go faster or you put less pressure, their lines are a bit broken, and I think that adds a lot of character to the sketches. So I'm really loving it. It's also very juicy, so the uh, the ink flows um, a lot. So it that the cartridge will run out pretty quickly. I think. I viewed this for maybe three different sketches and the cartridge is already almost almost gone. So definitely uh, it uses up a lot of ink. Obviously it lays down a lot more ink, uh, but it's also very, very juicy. So uh, you'll probably use more ink with that. So I'm going to show you a few sketches that I've done with this so you can see um, what kind of effects you can get. This is a sketch of Columbus Circle and some of the tuk-tuks in front of Central Park waiting for tourists. And I have another one here of Central Park. Uh, this is Umpire Rock in Central Park. You can see how like the lines can look really scratchy and have a lot of personality. So I just really loved it. I loved using it. I loved sketching with it. I've only been using it, like I said, for about a week. Uh, when I recorded this video. So definitely gonna be giving this a lot more use. I'm gonna be probably um, refilling this ink with permanent ink. I'll probably use noodlers or something, um, bulletproof ink. You can use a pilot converter for this if you wanna use your own ink. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a syringe and just fill, refill the cartridge that came with the pen using a syringe and I'll reuse the, the actual cartridge. That way you don't have to buy a converter. And that's it. That's my review of this pen. I hope you liked it. If you've used these pens before or you, you like to use fountain pens uh, and you have any comments or thoughts, please feel free to leave, leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. And uh, I hope to show you this in action in some of my future videos. All right, if you like that, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.